What's up, traders? I'm Zach here from the Trading Network. I hope you guys are doing well. It is Sunday, September 25th, and I have another weekly market profile forecast for you guys for both the ES and NQ futures markets. Now, we are going to start off with the NQ session profile. We'll move on into the weekly, and then we will do the same for ES. So let us waste no time and dive right in here to my thoughts for the coming week. So as you can see, uh, we are, of course, opening this new uh, overnight session, new weekly session within a prior range in value from last Friday between 11.405 and 11.300. So what I am looking for, first and foremost, from a session perspective, is to see if we can indeed move and hold above Friday's prior value at 11.4. If so, that's going to open up a test of uh, Friday's high at 11.470-ish, and then uh, I am really looking at the overnight POC, the value area low from Thursday, and this naked POC from Thursday here at 11,570 as well. So those are the most immediate levels that I will be looking at to the upside. Uh, if we cannot move and hold above value, get acceptance above uh, Friday's value area high, then I will be looking for a move back down below the value area low and a test of the range low from Friday at 11,229. Now, as you can see, and as you guys are probably well aware, we haven't been down around these levels for quite some time. So it's going to be very important really to look at the weekly levels and pay significant attention to these weekly levels because we do not have much as far as a session profile perspective unless you were to load data all the way back into mid-June. So that is something that's important to keep an eye on. And with that said, to the downside, that 255 level, if we break that, I will be looking for a move to 11145, which is the weekly low from the weekly profile of June 13th. Now, um, if we go below that, obviously, I'll load some more data and I'll show you guys uh, some more levels. But those are the major, major areas that I'm looking at. And you can see that we have last week's low, as I mentioned briefly, as well at uh, that 11,229 level. So you could consider 255, 229, and 145 are key major levels to keep an eye on to the downside on NQ uh, moving forward into this new weekly session. And on the upside, you can see that we actually have a low volume node here in this area. So there is uh, a gap in liquidity or a gap in trading activity, you could say there. And we have last week's POC actually lining up with this next higher volume node to the upside at 11,569. A good confluence here with this naked POC from Thursday. So I just wanted to point that out as well. And from an upside perspective on the weekly profile, uh, getting above 479, which is back into last week's value, and then getting above that prior POC from last week is going to be very important uh, for the week moving forward. If we can do that, I'll be looking for a move into uh, the prior week's no low, not last week's low from the week of September 19th, but the weekly low, regular trading hours weekly low uh, from the week of September 12th. So that is... Uh, basically it for NQ, you know, keep an eye on 255, 229, and 145 to the downside. And on a weekly perspective, keep an eye on 479, 569. And if we can get acceptance above that 569 level, I'll be looking for a move up to uh, that prior week's low at 778-ish. So let's pop on over to ES. You guys can see very similar situation here, opening within prior uh, range and value, but obviously the session has only been uh, open for less than two hours, so not a ton of trading activity here. Uh, but the idea is the same. If we can move and hold above Friday's value high at 37.11.50, then I will indeed be looking for a move back into that prior overnight session and into Friday's high at 37.35. Acceptance above Friday's high at 37.35 and a quarter uh, opens up a move to this area where there's really good confluence. Call it 37.65-ish. We could draw a little zone between uh, Thursday's low and the overnight low below that or even to the value area low at 68. And of course, just like NQ, we have Thursday's POC, uh, 37.76. That is a naked point of control, a point of control that has not been tapped since it was created. And that is an area of high probability, uh, or I'll, I'll say it like this. That's an area that is likely to get tested, especially if we can move and hold above these prior levels because there is usually significant liquidity at those naked POC levels. 
And if I zoom out, you can see that we have uh, plenty more to the upside, even just with data loaded back to September 14th. So on the upside, uh, look for uh, a test of 37.11.50 upon open tomorrow. Acceptance above that will open up a move to Friday's high. And then uh, Thursday's low, the Thursday into Friday overnight POC at 37.63. And then the prior overnight low at 66. And uh, of course, the naked POC that we have right above that at 37.76. So if we go on over to the weekly, uh, it is a similar situation, except we are already below the valuary low from that June 13th weekly profile that I was showing you guys on NQ. So it's going to be important, in my opinion, to get back above this 3706 level, get acceptance above that. And if we can, then just like NQ, we are likely to move through this lower volume node right here. This is a, a lack of price activity. And when that is present, you can also see that there's single prints on the weekly here. When that occurs or when you see that on the profile, uh, whether it's a market profile or you know a volume composite, for example, uh, that means that it is likely easy to move through that area because there's not a lot of orders sitting there, right? So if we have a low volume node, consider that if we can get acceptance above you know, 3708, 3710, it's going to be likely that we move up and get a test of 3765, which I mentioned earlier is very, very close to this area right here where we have these levels stacking up. And you know, you could even draw like a 10 point range, 13 point range between the overnight low, I'm sorry, the overnight POC from September 22nd up to the uh, naked POC from September 22nd regular trading hour session at 3776. So that is kind of what I'm looking at from a session and weekly perspective. Uh, really look for acceptance above 3710-ish. And if so, uh, I think that's going to significantly increase the probability of us moving up to 3765 and even 3780, which is our next high volume node on the monthly volume composite. So on the downside, uh, if we cannot get acceptance above 3706, uh, look for a move back down into these prior lows. So you can see uh, 36.56 is the weekly low from June 13th, and 36.60 is the weekly low from last week. So if we can't hold that, then we do have uh, some major levels below, which I will load some more data, and I will show you guys in just a second here. All right, so what I have done here is I've loaded back uh, some old price data on the weekly market profile. I've loaded between October of 2020 all the way to October of 2021. So I don't have current price uh, data on here, but I wanted to just kind of zoom in and show you guys some levels that you can keep an eye on to the downside if we do break you know, below 3660 and you guys are interested in what major levels to be looking at. So to the downside, uh, you can see that 3661 is actually the weekly low from January 25th, 2021. So below that, I'd be looking at 3628, 3600, 3560, and then we have uh, this naked POC at 3504. So uh, those are some more downside levels, five further downside levels that you guys can mark off on your chart for ES, and uh, that should be very helpful if we do uh, proceed to move lower in the coming week. All right, so here we have a similar vibe on NQ. You can see same date range, October uh, 1st, 2020 to October 2021. Uh, to the downside, we are going to be looking at these levels uh, from the beginning of October 2020. Uh, 11,282, 275, you can consider that uh, an important area to the downside, which we are very close to right now. We break that, uh, look for a move to 11.2, and then uh, we have some good confluence from back in October 2020 uh, around 11,020. So some more downside levels that you guys can keep an eye on for NQ, just like I showed you on ES. And uh, again, you know, hopefully these will provide some more edge for you guys and a little bit of context if we do break down. Uh, and I think that these are going to be you know, more solid than looking at a, a candlestick chart, generally speaking, because we know that these are major areas from, you know, a long time ago that there's no guesswork involved, right? You could, you could pull up like a weekly chart or a monthly chart or something like that, and you could try to draw support and resistance, which, you know, 
will probably work to a certain extent. But knowing that these levels are pre-calculated for us, you know, years back, just gives me personally more confidence in knowing that uh, if we do move to the downside, that probably going to have some good trade opportunity at and around these levels. So I hope this uh, adds a little bit of edge to your trading this week. So I hope that you guys find this information valuable. And once again, I hope it adds edge to your trading this week. Uh, just a quick reminder to join the Facebook group if you have not already and start utilizing and backtesting our free trade plans. You can find these in our Facebook group, on our Instagram, uh, every morning about 30 minutes after the open. And if you are interested in accessing these trade plans before the open, you can join our private Discord, which you can, of course, find more information about on the tradingnetwork.io. If you guys would like to learn more about the Trading Network Proprietary Indicator Package, the Fundamentals of Futures Trading, or one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, please also feel free to check out the tradingnetwork.io. And we are now also offering our TTN Pro Trader Bundle, which you can find more information on in the description below. It is essentially a bundle that includes the indicators, the Fundamentals of Futures Trading, as well as lifetime Discord access, uh, even for payment plans to make it a little bit easier on the wallet as well, if that's something you guys are interested in. Uh, so again, I thank you guys very much for taking the time to watch this content and being part of the trading network. I appreciate you very much, and I will see you in the next video.